We're reading, reading from a hundred verses from old Japan, being a translation of the Yakui Ni Ishi by Fujiwara Sade, something William Porter. This is a old book, 1909. It's rhyming. <laughs> So it's kind of old-fashioned, like Victorian almost. Hmm? The privy councillor Itashi, tis easier to hide the reeds. Hide the, hide the, it's easier to hide the reeds upon the moor that grow than to try to hide the ardor love that sets my chest aglow for somebody I know. Unknown poet, <laughs> I don't know. Tara no Kamori. Alas, the blush upon my cheek, conceal it as I may, proclaims to all that I'm in love. Tis people smile and say, where are thy thoughts today? Did we encounter that guy before? Kama, Kame Mori. This is the verse said composed in the year 949. Hmm. Hmm. So it's the year 949 as illustration. Huh. It seems given that we have a new picture of the year 949. Nine. Years before, the Renaissance, before 1400, you don't have much of arts, etc. This poem says, Our courtship that we tried to hide, misleading is to none, and yet how could the neighbors guess that I had yet begun to fancy anyone? This is the time. You know the like the book uh, the tales of Genji when everybody gossiped and everybody she it, that's like the the tale of Genji is like the the Jane Austen <laughs> for Japan <laughs> that's intrigued <laughs> the romantic uh, arts, whatever. But anyways, Motosiki Kirowara says our sleeves all wet, our sleeves all wet with tears attest that I agree that to each other will be true till Pine Tree Hill shall be sunk far beneath the sea. Motosaki lived towards the close of the 10th century and was the son of the writer of verse 36. Huh. Imperial advisor, Yatsu Tada. How desolate my former life. Mo those dismal years, ere yet I chanced to see the fate be face to face, twere better to forget those days before we met. Mm. Well, it's interesting in the art piece here that says the artist, the artist when he illustrates in Japanese pictures, the um, Artists will take the roof off or take a wall out of the house so you can look inside to see what's going on. <laughs> Here it says, To fall in love with womankind is my unlucky fate. If only it were otherwise, I might appreciate some men whom now I hate. Hmm. Imperial advisor Asatada. Hmm. 
Hmm. You want that again? No. no. I dare not, poem 45, I dare not hope my lady love will smile on me again. She knows no pity in my life I care not to retain since all my prayers are in vain. Goodness. Fishing boats are tossed about when stormy winds blow strong with rudder lost. How can they reach the port for which they long? So runs the old love song. Hmm. course of true love is as uncertain as a rudderless fishing boat. Hmm. Probably true. Huh? He says, the fishing boats are tossed about with stormy winds blow strong with rudder lost. How can they reach the port from which they long? So runs the old love song. This one says, my little temple stands alone. No other hut is near. No one will pass to stop and praise its fine-grown roof, I fear. Now that the autumn's here. These are unknown poets, so I won't even mention their name. Number 48. The waves that dash against the rocks are broken by the wind and turn to spray. My loving heart is broken too, I find, since thou art so unkind. Hmm. My constancy to her I love, I never will forsake as surely as the palace guards each night their watch fire make and guard it till daybreak. Fifty. Death had no terrors, life no joys, before I met with thee. But now I fear, however long my life may chance to be, twill be too short for me. Hmm. Like Emily Dickinson? Well, true, she does. That's ya, Yashitaka Ujiwara. She died in the year 974, though quite ahead of uh, Emily Dickinson. She says, Death had no terrors, life no joys before I met with thee. But now I fear how long my life might chance to be. It'll be too short for me. Now we have through 51, through love like blisters made from leaves, grown on Mount Hibiku, ter torments me more than I can say, my lady, shall not see how she is paining me. I, uh, the writer, there is an Artemisia plant, a mugwort, is used in Japan for cauterizing the uh, blossoms are placed on a spot to sort of the top and then to burn down the skin. This produces a blister. Oh. 
also stand for This produces a blister or it does it cures one, I don't know. Maybe it produces a blister. It says through love like blisters made from leaves grown on Mount Rat torments me more than I say, my lady shall not see how she is paining me. Just a mugwort gives you a blister. Anyways, although I know the gentle knight will surely follow more yet. When I'm awakened by the sun, turn over, stretch and yawn, how I detest the dawn. All right, all through the long, dreary night, I lie awake and moan. How desolate my chamber feels, how weary I have grown of being left alone. This lady, this lady was the daughter of Fujiwara, the wife of regent. She was famous for her beauty and lived in the reign of Emperor Mirakami. It is related that her husband returned home late one night and having to wait a moment or two before she let him in, she angrily, he angrily, angrily reproached her. And she replied with this verse. She says, although all through the long dreary night I lie awake and moan, how desolate my chamber feels, how weary I have grown of being left alone. And then he came home. What? What do you think happened there? <laughs> he screamed at her. She's still alone. Her husband returned home late night, I am having to wait a moment or two before she let him in. He angrily, angrily reproached her. Yo no akuya ma means until the dawn, but akura ma also suggests that the room is empty when he is away. And there's a painting. How difficult it is for men not to forget the past. I fear my husband's love for me is disappearing fast. This day must be my last. <laughs> the real name of this lady was Taka and her son's name was blah blah blah. She lived about a thousand years. Suppose that the verse was written in a fit of jealousy against her husband. She is shown in the picture alone at home through wailing her lot. She's, this is a lady, she says, the mother of the minister of state, she says. How difficult it is for men not to forget the past. I fear my husband's love for me is disappearing fast. This day must be my last. Mm. Now we have the first minister of state, Kinto. Says, this waterfall's melodious voice was famed both far and near. Although it long has ceased to flow, yet still my memory's ear, it, its gentle splash I hear. It's written in praise of the waterfall and been made by the artist. Hmm. Oh, the waterfall is fun to stay. Hmm. We've been reading from a thou, from a thousand verses from Japan, from old Japan. <laughs> old, it's old. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.